Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you what you need and that is help in your meal planning. If you are anything like me, I'm a mom of four, so I meal plan for a family of six, and the idea of trying to figure out what we are going to shop for for the week, as well as what we are going to eat every single day of the week, it, it used to be intimidating, but now I've got it down to a three-step process, and that's what I'm gonna share with you today. This is gonna take your meal planning from being time-consuming to being quick, easy, and also you're gonna literally save hundreds of dollars. Not to mention, you're gonna eliminate your food waste, your stress is gonna go from here to here. You guys, strap in, let me give you my three tips and then we're gonna walk you through the whole thing. Tip number one is to decide which grocery store you're gonna be shopping at this week. Number two, we're gonna go through and see what we have on hand, what is going to be going bad this week if we don't use it now or fairly soon. Number three, we're gonna use the information that we've gathered to make this into meals, make this something that you will have with you while you're grocery shopping, and make it something that your family can access so that they'll also have the same team plan in mind and they'll be able to support you best for meal planning. So without further ado, we're going to get into it with the ads that I'm considering for where I'm going to shop this week and see what kind of good deals we have. So I've got my coupons and my ads here. What I want to do is look for the things that are actually a good deal, whether that's circling or adding them to the list here if I know for sure there's something that I want to make. Like for instance, avocados for 79 cents in my area, that is an awesome deal. So I'm going to go ahead and write that one down, 79 cents for avocados. And then we're just gonna keep that in mind for our meal plan. So let's see, what else do we have? Oh, and also, any kind of coupons that you have. So like here, I've got a $10 off a of $50 or more purchase. I've got Kaylee helping me too. And then this is the bread that I usually get. It's store brand, but it is only 99 cents and there's no high fructose corn syrup. So I'm definitely gonna stock up on that. It does say there's a limit of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my list. 99 cents. When they have a limit of four, I always stock up. Bread freezes amazingly. So anytime that you can get bread for that cheap with ingredients that you like and it's a kind that you like, that's a good stock up price. So I'm just gonna continue on through the ad and see what else they've got going. Yeah, Kaylee? You love those? Yeah. When we get raspberries, we usually get them at Costco, though, so this is a different yeah, store. Yeah, but I like strawberries, I too. know, you do like them. I'll eat all of them if you get them. I know that you will. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty good deal here, um, two for three on Philadelphia cream cheese. Stock up price for me, though, is a dollar, and I do have a couple of those left in my fridge. My friend Aaliyah, she bought those all to school. She did? At my school, yes, she did. Oh, yeah. And sometimes, if the kids have certain snack foods that they like, I'll even splurge, like, let's say, for instance, these Ritz party size crackers for five bucks. It's not like a steal, you know, like for five bucks, but you gotta balance the joy with the, you know, economical meal planning. So you gotta have stuff that you actually like. It's not meant to be torture meal planning, it's just meant to have a plan. They say if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So we don't want to be doing that. Anytime I find these sorts of deals, like the buy one, get one free, just because it's in the ad doesn't automatically mean that it's a good deal. All right, something else that I'm seeing here. I said that we wanted to do ribs, and this one is saying a full slab of ribs for 10 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. Normally, I would have to go to Winco for... Um, that sort of deal and since this store has the $10 off 50 I'm gonna be putting ribs on my list for Albertsons. Looks like they've also got their Dietz and Watson um, Sliced lunch meat on sale. This is our favorite. They don't do fillers or anything like that And so I'm gonna go ahead and get lunch meat on there Looks like they've got another pretty good deal on Bush's black beans. They're 80 cents a can when you buy five so since I'm out of them they're due 80 cents a piece, and we'll do the five. I'm also seeing in the produce, they've got a good deal on lime, cilantro, or green onions. They're two for a dollar, so I'm gonna get a cilantro. That's making me think I should do tacos, because I know I have tortillas, like corn tortillas. So I know for one of the meals, we're gonna do, let's do that for Monday. We're gonna do tacos. So we'll need a bunch of cilantro for that. We'll need a couple limes. 
We still have green onions left, but that is a pretty good price. Ooh, sumo mandarins. These are like some of our favorites. It's a splurge. They're three ninety nine a pound, but they're in such a short season. Uh, my husband and I are obsessed. Sumo mandarins. So that's gonna be like our candy for the week. And then last thing I'm seeing for this ad, it's a $5 off, $20 or more purchase in the butcher block on seafood. So we should do some seafood meal. I know we've been loving salmon lately and they've got that on sale for $9.99 a pound. Maybe let's say Tuesday, we'll do salmon dinner. And then I know a lot of these are clip or click, but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and clip them out just for the purposes of this video. Now generally I like to stick to one grocery shop during the week, but sometimes um, I will venture into a second store when I'm running errands or something like that if I know there's a good stock up price on something. So I'm just gonna take a look, not that I necessarily want to be going to a second store, but I just wanna quickly scan through the ad and make sure I'm not missing out on anything really good. A couple things just right off the bat, these pizzas for $1.99, that's pretty good. Butter for $1.99, that's good. Um, <laughs> that's a good deal on those apples. All right, nothing too epic that I can't pass up. So we have got our good deals, we've got some ideas. Now what I'm gonna do is take you through our pantry, like things that I'm wanting to use up. I'm gonna take you through our refrigerator until we can get these days filled. So coming into our kitchen, the first thing that I wanna look at is fruits and veggies that are gonna be going bad. So I've got some pantry kind of storage here. I have a spaghetti squash, so I'm definitely gonna put that into our meal plan. I'd also like to pick up some more bananas because I do like to have them on hand. And these guys need to get used up like yesterday. So those are gonna be on the meal plan as well. I've got a couple sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna write these down right away. Okay, potatoes. Spaghetti. So when I bought the spaghetti squash, my intention for it was to make like a um, spaghetti squash with meatballs. And that's what I'm gonna plan on Wednesday. I'm gonna fill that in here and I definitely have meatballs in the freezer. And then I have spaghetti up there. So I like to do spaghetti squash for my husband and I, and the kids will eat a little bit of it, but for the most part, they like to have regular spaghetti. So that'll be on Wednesday. We've got a meal right there. And then these potatoes, I think I'm gonna go ahead and roast those on the night that we do our salmon dinner. I've also got the sweet potatoes that are still looking really good. Hmm, I don't know how those will fit in yet, so I'm just gonna write them down. And then one other area that I like to look in here is this. Now this basket has all of the items that we've bought that we have not yet used up, but I don't want to like stock them regularly. So for instance, this is some jam that I made from Prickly Pear when we went to Arizona and visited my husband's family. So this is something that I don't want to like keep on hand all the time. It's not a jam that we we go to, but it's just been hanging around and I don't want to keep it in the inventory. So I'm actually going to use that to make a dessert and that is going to be a yogurt pie. While I was editing this footage, I realized that I was covering over my microphone. So we're doing a little voiceover here. But some other things I had in this basket was this orzo. This is like a tiny pasta. This is something that I bought on impulse, but I wanted to try making the soup that I saw in the picture. It just looked like, I don't know, something my kids would like, but I could also add vegetables into it. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and make this this week. I already had some chicken broth from a rotisserie chicken that I made broth out of, so I was gonna use that for the base. I also decided to pick up spinach and then we have those potatoes there so I was going to throw that into a soup um, also another one with some arborio rice this is what I used to make risotto so I had the idea since I was getting salmon and then wanted to use that coupon I'd also pick up some shrimp so I was gonna do like a shrimp risotto I do like to be creative with our meals but also keep them simple so not too many like sides or anything like that I just keep it simple and as you can see how I'm listing everything out it's pretty messy like it's all about speed getting it done and taking that quick inventory of what you've got on hand and really if this is gonna take too long like nobody's gonna actually do it 
and I don't have a lot of time to spare. So, okay, what we're gonna do now is look through our perishable foods. So the things that are gonna go just as fast as the fruits and veggies from there. So I'm gonna look at, first of all, let's look in my produce drawer. It's looking super bare. I need to clean this out and I need to restock apples because this is like, I have one apple. So I'm gonna add apples and oranges to my shopping list. And let's see what else do we have in here. Carrots aren't looking very full, but at the same time, I don't really want to stock them. If it's not in the meal plan, I'll stock these, but not like the soup style ones. So I am going to be using these though for that orzo soup. And then these mushrooms. Oh man, did these go bad? These are like just about to go bad. So these are going to need to be used up tonight, which actually I'm not including on my meal plan, which is kind of nice. Same thing with this tarragon. I think I'm going to make our tarragon linguine for tonight, but that's not on my plan. So pretend those aren't here. <laughs> this is looking pretty sad as well. And so I can't really count on anything other than those carrots, but let me write those on my list. Okay. And then let's have a peek at our deli drawer, because like I said, we're going to be getting lunch meat, so I'm going to be replenishing here. I've also got some bacon, so I'm going to keep that in mind. This will probably be used for breakfast, though. And when I meal plan, I'm sure you guys are noticing, I meal plan for dinners. Because with breakfast, we can, you know, you can wake up and want cereal, you can want oatmeal, or you could want maybe bagels. So I am going to pick up some more bagels. We don't have any more, but we've got cream cheese stocked, and I didn't see an amazing deal on that. We are going to be getting lunch meat. I've got that on my list. And then we have cheese already set. So nothing really there. Uh, let's see. We've got some sparkling water. That's good. My coffee creamer is almost empty. So I'm going to pick that up. And then we've got barbecue sauce here for the ribs. Plus I know I have more outside in our other pantry storage. I've got some chicken broth here. It's weird. I usually put my leftovers up here. But Oh, that's why. It didn't fit. There we go, it worked, okay. <laughs> so I've got that for the orzo soup, that'll be the base of it. Coconut water, that's just for drinking. Anything else we need to use up? I'm using this right now, this hazelnut milk with my coffee. But I am gonna add that into the list. So creamer and bagels. Bagels. My kids love the mini bagels, I don't know about yours. They just love those. And then what I'm gonna look at next is the leftovers because these really will even go faster than these drawers but right here we've just got some chili left over from the night before last this will probably be my husband's dinner tonight when he comes home because he'll be pretty late from work a tiny little piece of steak in here I'll probably have that for, <laughs> for my lunch and then there's some rice back there uh, I've got some chicken that was from last night the whole chicken broth we're going to use up and then this ricotta cheese what am i going to do with this i guess let's do a quick fresh test oh no mm -mm. that's gotta go Eesh. see this kind of stuff if i were to go to the grocery store and not check this out before i would have just kept that in there and then my refrigerator would be so full and i would just be assuming it was good and it was not good not good i also have some coconut milk so let's put that into another meal we're almost done you guys cool to hang out in my fridge for a minute? <laughs> so I know that coconut milk has been in here for a little bit, so I'm probably gonna do this for Sunday, and that will be a coconut milk curry. And I have some chicken thighs in the freezer. It would be good to put some veggies in there though. So I'm gonna pick up a red bell pepper, some bamboo shoots, and then I'll use some of those little carrots for that one. See how quickly it's all coming together? And then let's just have a quick look. So right here, there's two pots here. This is yogurt that I made last night. So that's just dripping and straining, and then we'll have tons of yogurt for snacks for the kids. Over here, these are just jellies. There's like three open at once, no idea why. Um, some peaches, those are a good snack. Applesauce for a snack, and then we've got some yellow curry paste here. So that's what I'll be using for that. Oh, pad thai sauce. I didn't even know that was there. That's gonna be our last meal. Awesome, so I have got some pad thai noodles that I wanted to use up in the garage. So I'm gonna do that for a Saturday. We're gonna do pad thai. And since that'll be right after our shrimp night on Friday, 
I'm gonna do pad thai with shrimp. I literally got our entire week for dinners mapped out. But you can see this looks crazy, and I definitely don't wanna bring this to the store with me like this, especially with all these pages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this list, and I'm gonna type this all into my phone, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on a separate list with our meal plan. That way my husband will have access to the full meal plan, it'll be on his phone, it'll be on my phone, and we'll know what the plans are. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that all out nice, and then I'm gonna walk you guys through my meals for the week. Now that we've done all the legwork, I have got a complete meal plan. Now this is a note that I have just on my iPhone, the free notes app. You can share this with your spouse, you could share this with your older children so that everyone can see what's on the plan. If they have any edits or suggestions or things that they wanna make, on the note, then they can do that. You can also write this on actual paper or if you have a chalkboard, if that works better for you, post it where you want your meal plan to be and you're gonna know what you have for every single day of the week. So for our family, what I've got on the meal plan is a coconut curry on Sunday with chicken. It's gonna have bell peppers, it's gonna have bamboo shoots, it's gonna have carrots, it's gonna be delicious. For Monday, we're gonna be having tacos with cilantro, with onion, with limes. We're also gonna have a yogurt pie for dessert that night in particular. Tuesday, salmon dinner, roast potatoes. Wednesday night, it's gonna be spaghetti squash and meatballs and some regular spaghetti. On Thursday, we're gonna do an orzo soup with some chicken sausage. Friday night, it's just gonna be my husband and I and we're gonna do a shrimp risotto. Probably also gonna open a bottle of Moscato that night and I think that sounds amazing. And then Saturday, we're gonna be doing some pad thai with shrimp. So that's what I've got on my meal plan. I'm sure you guys have maybe something different from what you had on hand or what was on sale in your area. But now I wanna talk about my shopping list. So once again, I've got this one typed out on a separate note on my notes app on my phone. Again, you could do it on paper if you prefer, but I wanna make sure that wherever I go, it's going to be with me. It's just like with my reusable bags, when they're not carrying the groceries, I like them to be in my car, so if I happen to go by the grocery store, I will have them. If I have that extra 20 minutes, I can run in, run out, and get it done. Now, since I'm only shopping at one store per week, I do like to have a running list of some of the stores that I like to shop at, but not every week. Like, I wouldn't consider them for my big shop. For instance, I have a running Costco list. So for things like oats or rice, or if I'm getting like a large quantity of meat or something like that, that goes on my Costco list. And so that's another one that I have kind of towards the bottom of my notes app. So if I ever find myself in a Costco, I quickly hop over to my grocery list and I'll see, okay, we need to stock up again on quinoa pretty soon, or we need to restock on almonds. I really use Costco just for those things that we need all the time that I want to have a constant inventory of in my house. So it's usually not something that's super urgent. If it becomes urgent, then Costco might become my main shop for that week. But in general, we don't use like Costco quantities of everything on a weekly basis. So it's not generally my weekly store. Well, since you guys pretty much saw what I had put on my grocery list for the week, I'm not gonna list all of those out. But what you could do at this point, if you are really trying to stick to your specific budget, I know that I'm still under my $137 budget for the week. What you could do is cost all of those out. I know for myself that I'm gonna be under that. And as I'm at the grocery store, I will be using my calculator and adding up as I go. So if I have extra money towards the end, let's say with all of this, I'm at about $100, I'll know that if my kids were asking for goldfish crackers or whatever while we were in the store, if they wanted those for their lunches, then when we get done with the necessities, I can say, okay, we've got a little money, go ahead and grab your goldfish crackers or go ahead and grab the ice cream sandwiches, whatever it was. There's definitely nothing that says you have to spend your entire grocery budget on that one time that you're doing your big shop for the week. I do like to save about $25 for incidentals, maybe all of a sudden we ran out of coffee creamer and I didn't put that on my list, then I like to be able to have a little budget just to stop in. Or maybe like right now, uh, we've got sumo mandarins are in season and my husband and I love those. Like those are our candy. So if we eat through everything we have and we wanna go out and get some more while we're by a store, 
then we have a little bit of budget left for that. But really, that is all you need to do and all you need to know for your meal planning. You've got your three steps. You've gotta know what store you're shopping at, what good deals there are to stock up on. You've gotta know what you already have. And then you've gotta put it all down into your shopping list and your meal plan. And that is it. All that's left to do, you guys, is go to the store. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday to help get you inspired and motivated to be intentional in your life, to save money, save time. So if you enjoyed it, I hope to see you back on Monday. And if you'd like to check out another video from me, you can see what my No Buy 2020 is all about, what I'm saving up for this year, or if you need an idea for a recipe for this week, you can check out one of my easy dinner recipes over here. All right, I'll see you soon.